Hey everyone, the r 10 Major has officially started, but there's also a lot of news that happened before it. Team Secret has officially removed Daryl Ice 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 Cull for Roman Resolution Formula. After the success of Riyadh Masters 2022, Team Secret had no choice but to replace Ice Ice Ice, and they have a special way of communicating. The good thing is that uh, Resolution and Zayas wanted to play together, so uh, Reza was available to stand in for this tournament, and I wanted to see how you know, good they can be together. It seems like they can be very good. It's kind of funny because uh, they speak their own language on one lane. Me and Kristalis, we speak in English, you know, so there's no like uh, interruptions between anyone. We can both be talking at the same time, but we know who we're talking to. Quincy Crew finally found their sponsor, Sonic Esports, picked up Quincy Crew and they released a rather unique video that announced their players. Link to the video will be in the description. Topias Thompson Tatsibainen has officially announced he will be departing from OG and he will be looking for a team in Europe in order to get another shot at the international in Singapore. But watching this major, like I, I really like started getting this feeling that I need to get back like I, as soon as possible. And it inspires me, and I guess it also rebirths this fire in my heart. You know, like watching these kids and they, they're so passionate and they're so good at the game, and I just wanna, you know, I just wanna compete next to them, you know, or against them, anywhere, I don't care. <laughs> so yeah, we're going back to Finland uh, by the end of this year, and yeah, I'm, I'm looking for a new team. I want to compete in Europe because it's definitely the strongest region there is. Fnatic had major visa issues with their team, and TSM has stepped up to lend three players for the Southeast Asian team to play in Arlington. And finally, Valve has released the pricing for the international tickets. The tickets will officially go on sale on August 13th with a limit of 5 tickets per customer per each date. The event will be in two sections, the playoffs and the finals. The playoff stage will be on October 20th to the 23rd, where the top 16 teams will fight for a spot in the finals. The 4-day tickets are sold separately at 88 Singapore dollars, which is around 63 USD. Buying all 4 will be 252 USD. The finals will be the 4 remaining teams competing and it will be on October 29th to the 30th. One ticket will cover both days at 498 Singapore dollars or 360 USD. If you plan on going to the entire event, it will roughly cost you 612 USD. Valve also announced that patch 7.32 will be coming out right before the international regional qualifiers. It will take place from September 3rd to the 18th. With the group stages almost ending, let's look back at some highlights as well as the standings. Remember that the bottom two teams from each group are eliminated. Outsiders Roman Ramsey's Kushnerev shows off the powerful Templar Assassin as he gets two Rampages in a single game. And it doesn't feel like the TA is really looking to stop. Radiance Even going behind the tier 2 tower and throwing the mallet over onto KP. Splashing onto high, flame breaks there. Ramsey's blinking in and he's forcing the false prop. So he'll survive, right but the rest of his team is going to be in a lot of trouble. They get the gun to KP, they look over Ramsey, surviving it all. He also has the agent. There's the shallow grave. They'll take out Hyde. And now 23 Rampage. Savage. GPK, go, GPK goes down. Ultra kill is there for Ramsey. Rampage. Give him a range. Just 19 minutes into the game. And he'll finally lose that agent. How would you maybe get away with this? Is it LGD? Uh, 23 Savage? Hey, hey, you're doing All right, false promises in, but the primal war comes out. They've got the last sort of follow that I one up. The damage coming in, he's dead. dead. False promises are meant to be broken, and they will get the kill on a 23 Savage Makoto to look for dead. more. Makoto on the run. The axe is flying in. The dispose is there on a KP with BKBB pop by Makoto. They will get themselves a third. They'll look for a fourth. It's a triple kill for Ramses once again. Can he get another Rampage? Rampage? He might. GG is called. Wow. The Rampage is secured. Another Double Rampage. Rampage. Not a double, not a triple, it's two separate rampages and a two- Another rampage comes from Team Spirit. They're struggling, but Terrorblade always rises to the occasion with a double rampage. Pretty soon, there's a fortification. Do they even have time now? Oh, the oh, sheep that's stick. there's the initiation on to collapse. He needs to stay alive, and he will, but the Starbreaker under two, he gets deleted. Does have buyback though, he'll expend it immediately. Toronto, Tokyo, they've already killed two, but that's the buyback's coming in. This will be a dieback on the Jackie. He's all alone right now, completely surrounded. Double kill for Yotaro, dieback Jackie. And another Avatos, man, Mira has been all over the place this game on this tiny. Skem just stuck in the trees, no Kobold to save him this time. And looks like he's gonna drop as a result. And there's the last black hole of the game in all likelihood. Collapse, finding everything, a rampage for Yotaro. Double rampage, in fact.
Could go for a triple. Let's see how greedy is it he is. But the GG's come out beforehand, and Team Spirit tie it one to one. They split it. And lastly, PSG LGD is just on another level and continue their hot streak from the Rea Masters. They completely turn around a team fight against Team Liquid. LGD squaring off on this side. I mean, LGD don't know the timing, the Tampa man. Dispels, but Bear taking a good chunk of damage there. God, they, they you've gotta be so upset about this, Roche. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's been a late one. Roche, he's sleeping in today. Taking a bit of time off, taking some me time. That's right. Jumps, finds him, stun, combo, but they interrupt the Ravage, the Force Staff, the Cookie, everything for Ame, and now look at him, they're all lined up together. Ame down on the low ground, the Cookies come through. It's terrible for Liquid, Nikkei in trouble. He's gonna fall, Sai also starting to drop. All the save in the world, and it was everything they needed. Five for nothing. LGD are just, uh, they're, they're Obi-Wan, they're the kings of the high ground. Know, but both fun. fights now, they have that exact positioning that you'd love to see, and somehow Liquid is just trapped in a ball. At the bottom of and here are your standings for the Arlington Major from the group stages. Although PGL is running the current event, they apparently had copied tooltips from Shannon, Sunspan, and Scotten. Sunspan is currently working at the tournament and has yet to comment, but it was originally found by Ben Noxo Steenhusen. We also have highlights from the Commonwealth Games. The Commonwealth Games for esports also happened and it was a clean sweep for Malaysia in men's and women's Dota 2 division. We have the winning moments from both series as well as the medal ceremony from both divisions. Ruby just gonna lose her life straight away. Malaysia are running circles around England right now. Lily trying to buy herself a little bit more time, but Belmiku dead once again. Lily falls as well. The buyback's coming through thick and fast, but there is nothing they can do. Gimmick's just gonna TP in again and just die immediately. Tragic for England at the moment. Bleeding hero after hero in Malaysia. Oh, they get the first rampage. Wait. Oh, we got go. There it is. Estrax ending this game with style. Might not be over yet. But the old chat is coming out, and Malaysia are on fire. And it is the first rampage that we've seen today. Impressive stuff, but yeah, Malaysia, beautiful combination of their spells. Just punish England time and time again. If they show on the map, they're gonna die. It's gonna look to be a clean 2-0 sweep for Malaysia in the grand finals as they hit the tier fours. Seemingly unwinnable game, and Karen, unfortunately, gonna get killed off before she can do anything about it. Ancient exposed, Malaysia, uh, they get it to work. They're gonna take down the Ancient. We'll kill off the Wyvern as a little side effect, but there it is! It will be Team Malaysia grabbing the gold medal here at the Commonwealth Esports Championship. My goodness, what style, what discipline, what a fantastic game coming out from these players. Yeah, they got sloppy, they did. I'm going to throw some spells at this point. Ooh, threatening the Chronosphere. They're going to drop it onto a Zantic here. And they don't even need the Cataclysm anymore to bring a Zantic down. He's just going to go down without any trouble at all. Ari falling as well. Some magical nowhere left to run. Nowhere left to hide. And there it is. Your GG comes out. Malaysia will be taking another gold medal here at the Commonwealth Esports Championships. Honestly, well deserved. The way that Malaysia played in the first game and throughout this entire tournament, it was just high energy, high aggression. They had like a 25 minute average game quicker than any other team in this tournament. In this third game, they switched up the script a little bit. They went a little bit more defensive. They played. And our final victors, your gold medalists and Commonwealth Esports champions, Team Malaysia. <laughs> You can go louder than that. Come on, louder, louder.
That's all for this week. We'll see you next week for the ending of the PGL Arlington Major. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.